Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It's another beautiful October day. And by the way, you can see behind me here, uh, there, and particularly over there, if you can just make it out, they're the old oyster beds where the Romans on this island used to harvest oysters. So not only more, but a bit of history for you. Well, look, I wanted to follow up on the last video I did in relation to stress in the immune system because I've got some more information for you that hopefully you're going to find interesting. And as you'll know, when we're in a situation of threat or we perceive there's a threat, then obviously our blood pre pressure increases and the blood goes to different parts of the body. And this is the primitive response, which allows us to get ready to run, fight or hide. Now, that was a, an adaptive response thousands of years ago when we had wild animals that we had to defend ourselves, defend ourselves from and keep ourselves safe from. And the idea of that uh, adaptive response was to A, kick in, so we'd have you know, increased blood pressure, we'd have adrenaline released into the body, increased cortisol, etc., and many other chemicals. But it was a temporary thing. And once the threat has subsided, everything switches itself off and we go back to homeostasis. The problem we have today in this modern society we live in is the amount of pressure that's on us 24 7, 365 days a year. You know, people get up in the morning, first thing they do is check their emails on their phone by the side of their bed. They worry about what, what the, the day is going to bring them in terms of work and they're not happy. They might even go to work and not like the person sat at the desk opposite them or across from them and that becomes then a threat for them. So they have stress responses on all the time. Now a couple of things you may not know about the stress response is one of the things is, as I've already mentioned, is your cortisol is increased and this will spike. Now when cortisol is increased, your metabolism slows down. And this again goes back thousands of years to when we used to you know, basically live in feast and famine. So if your metabolism slows down because you've got increased cortisol, increased blood pressure, so on and so forth, then your body's reacting as though there's a famine. And what happens? We put weight on, our clothes get tighter. So what do people do? <laughs> they go on a diet. So there's lack of food, which basically reinforces the fact that we're living in famine. So the cycle repeats itself and perpetuates itself. And that's why so many people suffer because they're living in this 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days of the year for the majority. And it's not good because like I said in the last video, your immune system is depleted, it's, it's compromised. So you have nothing to fight any illness, infection or disease. So how can we combat this? Well, change the way you think. I mean, come out, on a day like today, get out in nature and enjoy it because it's absolutely glorious. Nature's the best medicine ever. But also choosing the way you think and choosing the way you respond to situations as opposed to reacting. You know, build yourself a response break, you know, some time to allow you to think about how you respond. These are important too. So you may have to have that job that's causing you stress. You may have to do things that are causing you stress and making you angry. You might not be able to change them currently. But you can change the way you perceive them. You can change the way you think about them and the way you choose to respond. That's your power. Now I've run quantum thinking courses in industry for large organizations. One organization had a 24% absenteeism rate. We managed to turn that around for them. And what I basically did was go in and say, guys, it's your responsibility. This is what you're doing. Every time you think in a maladaptive way, anytime you think negatively, anytime you let your circumstance or your environment control you. And if you're interested in knowing more about that, DM me, drop me a message, drop me an email. If you're an organization and you want me to come and run a course on this or do a talk there, I'm happy to do so because it could be the difference that makes a difference. You know, I mean, I'm, quite, <laughs> I'm a fully qualified stress consultant, which means by the way, if you are stressed, I'm qualified to actually bring you to my office, my treatment room, lie you on a chaise lounge, put some music on of dolphins farting or whales whispering or whatever, make you feel better, and then send you back into the environment with no skills or tools to be able to cope. That's fundamentally what stress consultants do. And the stress, the, the stress management industry needs stress to exist, so they've got a job. Let me tell you, there's a better way of living. Think about how you can control you. You have no control over what happens in the main, but you have control over the way you choose to respond to it. That's my message for today. You have a great day.